Hey guys, Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com. So today I am going to show you how we can mount signs on poles up in the air so they don't get taken down. Now, I'm actually using a friend of my signs here. Uh, I did a video with DJ and these are his signs. And so this is the way normal signs come, you know, with the stakes, you know, we put these signs out. So this year, DJ is trying, I'm, I'm kind of doing a test with him of seeing how much we can make off just signs. The challenge I gave him is 25 signs a week, every week, try to put them out on either Thursday or Friday and see how long they stay out and see how much we can generate business just with signs. He just put out 25 signs this past week. We're not even in grass mowing season. We're a little bit early. And from Friday to today, which is a uh, Tuesday, he's had um, five phone calls just from signs. So signs work. Um, so the problem with these signs, these are great signs, um, but they get pulled up. So we're going to make a thing that we can make a tool to help staple these signs to um, some areas up higher so that way they're less likely to get pulled out. Now, is this 100% legal? You're gonna to have to find out with your own place. Um, you know, I see them all over the place, and so I'm just showing you a way to keep your signs up in the area. You know, if you get a phone call say start taking them down, then you probably shouldn't do this method. But um, I'm gonna show you this method because I know this method will work in a lot of parts of the country. So, um, a lot of places around here use the bandit signs, but this will also work with the 18 by 24. Um, this is his first batch of signs. Um, the next batch, we're gonna, he's gonna try to make the house washing bigger and he's gonna make the number bigger. He's gonna push this up, pull this down so we can get some stuff on there to make it bigger. So you can see this from 50 to 75 feet away, maybe even 100 feet away. So that way we get a good view of what's being said and what we're trying to get a message. Um, his first batch was with house washing. He might try roof cleaning, he don't know yet, but you know, we can do roof cleaning, house washing. So with signs, we wanna keep it simple. He did do the logo behind it. It actually looks fairly good. Um, if you need signs, let me know. Um, I, I'll put you a link down in the description that I can get signs. Um, for 100 signs, with 100 tall stakes, it's $499, $499. We can do two color and it's that same price. Um, and it's the larger signs and this will make you money, guaranteed. My first year, I did $30,000 in signs and that was seven years ago. I know we can do better than that now. So the tool we're gonna need is you're gonna need a hammer stapler and all this stuff down is in the description. Everything's linked down in the description of what you need. So the first thing you need is a hammer, a hammer stapler. So basically it staples when you hammer it. You'll need a piece of flat metal. You can get this, um, I'll, I'll see if I can find the link. If not, you can get this at like Home Depot, Tractor Supply, um, you know, a farm store, that kind of thing. And you'll need two hose clamps that are two inch. And then you will need a inch and a half PVC pipe. So what we could do here is we slide the hammer thing down in, into there. And honestly, you have to be able to get this out. So you don't really want this locked in there and really band it unless you want to have to take it out. Because the way you have to load the staples on this is you pull this out here and the staples slide in right here. So this has to be where we can pull this um, out. If I can get it back in there now. There, so we, it has to be where it can come out. Now I'm just using this short piece of pipe for a demonstration here. And so basically what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take two hose clamps and a piece of metal. Actually I'm gonna put the metal back that way so it's gonna hold it better. We'll slide that down over the um, thing, over the piece of metal here. And, th and that's what's gonna hold our sign. So it's gonna end up looking like this. Now I actually used two pieces of metal here um, to see if I could get, my piece was a little thin, but if you went with like a quarter inch or maybe um, 3 16th, it would be big. I thought I could get away with even smaller, but 
I mean, it works and you'll see that it works. So basically the stapler just slides in there. If you kind of put a little pressure on it, it holds it in there just fine. You want the stapler going out with the sign. But then what we're gonna do is just slide the sign in there like so. And we're gonna hammer it on there. Just once, once we staple one, slide it down, pull it out. You can kind of move it and staple it again. We can put two, three staples in and that sign ain't going nowhere. It's gonna sit on that pole and work very awesome. So we want this, po our pole here is about, it's six feet. Um, it might be a little long. Um, honestly, if you had a five footer, probably would work just fine too. That puts us up, you know, if you're five foot and you got a five foot pole, time you're reaching, we can get it up probably 11, 12 feet. And uh, we don't want it up too high because if we get it up too high, it's not gonna be in people's vision and sight to be able to see, you know, how far it is up there. So, you know, if we go with the, uh, like I say, six feet, if you go with five feet, it might fit in your truck better too. Um, we're, we're trying the six foot, but you know, I can get way up there at this point with it and, uh, and be able to put them signs up there. Um, so that's kind of how, um, we did do some, um, black electrical tape here just to keep our hands from getting caught on the little corners of the metal here. But, uh, you have, this here's like 30 bucks. It's like $28 from, I, I'll put a link down on Amazon. This is $28 um staples are like three or four dollars piece of metal is two dollars and this piece of tube is probably um five dollars so you know you you got about 45 bucks you could have 40 35 40 bucks into a money making machine right here and really it is a money making machine because guess what signs work like i say he put out 25 signs over the weekend and got um five phone calls and it's not even People aren't even out, um, it's still cold out. Um, the great Cincinnati weather sucks, and so you never know what it's gonna be. So um, if you uh, want to learn more about signs and different ways to market your business, check out these videos here. Um, I'll see you in the next videos.